REDO stands for Repurposing Drugs in Oncology. Um, it's, uh, it's a project that aims at uh, looking at the evidence um, for some old drugs, usually generic drugs, uh, which are used for other indication than cancer, for example, diabetes or hypertension, and that could be useful uh, against cancer, usually in combination with other therapies used for cancer. So repurposing all drugs, the main advantage is that it's, it goes, uh, because we have a lot of information about the safety of those uh, drugs, uh, it's easy to use them in cancer patients, we have no concern about the safety, we know a lot of information about their side effects, contraindication and so on. Um, it goes then quicker, you can go quickly to the patient, while for new compounds you need to do all the preclinical work, uh, toxicity and so on, while here we can directly uh, administer those drugs to cancer patients. So it goes faster. Uh, the other uh, interesting thing is that because those drugs are old, they are cheap, and uh, as you probably know, the, the cost of cancer, new cancer drugs uh, is uh, skyrocketing, which is problematic for all economies in the world, uh, even for the high income countries. So by using those old generic drugs, we could uh, address part of that problem. There are many, um, I would maybe use one uh, which is uh, used against hypertension. Uh, it's a beta blocker, uh, it's called propranolol and uh, it has been uh, shown to potentially uh, be of interest in breast cancer, colorectal cancer and many other cancer. Uh, the mechanism of action uh, could uh, work for many different solid tumors and there are some retrospective evidence, so coming from people taking the drug uh, for hypertension, but those patients had also cancer, showing that the patients who were at cancer and were taking that drug had a better outcome. And there are also some preclinical work in mice showing that using propanolol in some tumor models uh, could be of benefit. So Pharma clearly is only interested in uh, repurposing of the drugs they own, uh, but even, th even then um, usually they, they, don't, they don't try to repurpose a non-anti-cancer drug in cancer because it costs a lot, it's complicated and there's a pricing issue, meaning that if you have priced your drug for another indication, it's hard to price it again at a higher uh, price in cancer afterwards. So pharma companies, they're not really interested in drug repurposing. Uh, for the generic drugs I just mentioned, there's no way to make money out of it. Uh, you can try hard, but it will never work unless you uh, modify the formulation or then you have to increase the dose, so then there's a possibility there. But in most cases, it's not possible. Then uh, it's foundation, charities, uh, government, we would like government to do more uh, repurposed trials. Um, and this is also one of the reasons why we started the Redo project, just to raise awareness and try to find additional partners to do the, the trials. The main one I would say is that uh, it's not very sexy. Uh, it's, those drugs are old, uh, they have a mechanism of action which is well described for their primary indication and for the new indication which would be cancer, we have, uh, it's less clear the mechanism of action. So when you talk to cancer researchers, they usually like to know exactly how it works and we don't have that information. So that's one. Uh, so at first we thought that we could go directly, directly to clinical trials and to patients. Uh, but in the end we realized that it, it's, it's probably important to do preclinical work in parallel to clinical work to have a better package for the drug and its new indication uh, cancer.